Hi, and thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm sharing with you my updated review for the Zero Shoes Amori Z-Trek uh, sandals. Uh, I've had these now for four months, and there is um, a couple things that uh, I'd like to change. So first I want to say that I've been in touch with the guys over at uh, Zero Shoes, uh, and I've spoke with the owner, Steven, and he's been really awesome in, you know, communicating with me. And uh, I actually asked him, I told him I, I wanted to make some modifications to these sandals. And he actually sent me he, in the mail uh, all the parts that I need to do it. Uh, or at least I think it's all the parts that I need to do it. So um, he actually sent it to me uh, uh, some time back, over a month or two ago probably. But I just have not been able to get around to doing it um, so far. But anyway, um, w the main thing I wanted to change was something that I mentioned in that first uh, video review that I did. And that's uh, this strap right here that comes across the toes. It comes loose, so uh, I'm gonna, I am gonna do those that modification that I was planning on doing, um, and I'll certainly keep you posted um, and let you know, you know, once I've done that, what I, you know, what I've done. Uh, one thing that I also noticed uh, in the original uh, review that I did for these is uh, I mentioned that there were a couple spots that I thought were weak points. So um, one of those was uh, the inside of the toe strap here. Um, and I was assured that it wasn't going to be a weak spot or that it wasn't going to come apart. I mean, the reason I thought that it would is because I had a pair of Chaco. I've had uh, several pairs of Chacos over the years, and they, that was always a weak spot, and it's a kind of a similar design. Anyway, so I don't know if you can see this, but see that right there? That's the uh, three-quarter inch uh, blue tubular webbing strap that is used as the lacing. It's uh, wearing thin through from my toe. It's fraying. So that's one um, thing to note. Uh, and then just so you guys can have an idea of how much I've been walking and running and hiking in these, uh, this is what the sole the, uh, on the ball of my uh, sandals looks like after four months of walking and running and hiking um, on a daily basis. Now, the other thing that I want to get to now, which is what just... The main reason I'm making this video now, this is... Um, what just happened uh, yesterday, actually, uh, and I was just uh, barely running, and that was like on the street in the city, and uh, the ankle strap. This is another spot that I thought was a uh, that I mentioned was looked like a weak spot um, in the materials, and so basically, if you can see this, this spot where this connects into there, into the sole, uh, that part just snapped right out of there. So um, I'm going to fix that also. I think I'm going to repair it actually with some of the blue tubular webbing. Uh, that's what I thought would be stronger. It's kind of like a suede, synthetic suede feeling kind of material, but it's quite thin. And I, I suspected that it would eventually break. So it finally did after four months, um, which isn't that great, but that's okay. I mean, I can. it's kind of an easy fix. And maybe I'll even try to make a video for you guys to see how I repair something like that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about them. I still really love these sandals. They're great sandals. Um, and uh, I think pretty much what everything, everything that I said in the first video four months ago, I think still stands. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.